this is our first time ever talking with one another since, uh, do you remember when? I don't know what year it was. I did try to look it up. It was in 2010. 2010, was it 10? Oh, wow, wow. 10 yeah. years ago. Yeah. And you you contacted me to ask, did, was it a podcast? Would you call yeah. it a podcast? And then I, and then I, you know, I, we were in contact now and then. And then I had this uh, email from you to say that you recorded the channelings before um, so you could listen to them when you went to bed and yeah. all that. And so I said, oh, well, you know, could you let me hear them? And as soon as I heard your voice, Joe, I was like, this has to, this has to get out there. When we first met, and we did that show together. It was called Enlighten Me. Okay. It was a web radio show that I did. And I remember pretty much just learning about you sometime in the previous year. So I wasn't okay. around when you did when the 2008 incident, mm -hmm. if you will, occurred or didn't. Yep. So, and I wasn't privy to the ups and downs that you went through relating to the backlash. Mm -hmm. uh, associated with that. Mm -hmm. I came in after the fact, unaware. All I know is that I love the messages I was reading. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. And th th that is, I mean, I have to say, uh, for me, Joe, it's lovely because a lot of people ask, you know, well, how does it work for you, Blossom? And it's like, and, and a lot of people <laughs> seem to say, like, you know, um, that I have uh, quite a way with them that I don't seem to be uh, like in awe of them or I just, you know, I'm just very upfront with them. But that is because really I don't, you know, there, as I've said before, there is no beautiful light being standing in front of me, you know, saying, take this down, Mrs. Jones. You know, it's just not like that. So for me, I don't hear, I don't hear their voice. I don't hear anything. I literally, I start, I get the thought, literally sometimes word by word, it, it comes through. Mm -hmm. And so therefore to me, it, I, I'm just can be myself because I can say, uh, what do you mean by that, et cetera, et cetera, because it is just thought for me. So when you came along, and I know so many people love to listen listen as opposed to read, mm -hmm. um, it's just so lovely. And for me to hear you read um, once you've put the, the audio together with me and you, and to hear you and your voice, and we have both, I think, come along a long, long way in the sort of six, seven years we've been doing this. And it's, so could I ask you, when you do, when you go to record the, the part of the Federation, do you tune in? Do you, what do you do? That's a very good question. I think uh, it varies from time to time, but by and large, all I know is this process has taken place. I will have read your, the channeling all the way through. And I know that there are occasions where I'm reading it and just I'm absorbing the message. So I'm really, really feeling the message that's, that's being conveyed. And do you feel them with you, Joe? Do you feel the Federation's energy with you? I do feel very strongly. So there's an energy there in that. Yes. We both know that in our emotions. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There have been numerous times where I've welled up, actually had tears, and had to stop the recording. And and that's the same for me with the energy, you know, when I'm actually getting the message through. Sometimes, like, out of nowhere, a sentence comes, and I'm like, Whoo! you know, and this <laughs> energy of love, which I, I assume, and I know when I work with White Cloud as well, that it's it's the energy of love that comes through is is beyond my vibration of love, if you see what I mean. So, it, it, therefore, it completely comes out of the blue and, and overwhelms you because of the the level of it, the vibration of it that is just so beautiful. I, I couldn't agree with you more. And, and I also want to say, Blossom, isn't that a kind of love that you have lived with for years and now feels like it's very much just something that's coming from within you as opposed to without? Oh, that's a tricky question. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, it's very... 
uh, it's strange for me because I'm just me. I'm just blossom good child, you know, <laughs> born in Bognor Regis, England, you know, and mm. and I always wanted to be an actress. That's what I've always wanted to do. So to find, and I still do. So to find myself in this position where mm. people all around the world read my or listen to or really get so much um, from the conversations I have with these, with the Federation of Light. It, to me, it's like, it's sort of what I do in a way. It's, it, I'm not like, oh my goodness, I speak with ETs. It just isn't, you know, right. or whatever. Whereas for other people, they write in and say, oh, I wish I could do that. And, you, you know, blah, blah, blah. It, it is just, I guess it's very natural for me and in the same way with white cloud now it's natural for me it's part of my life but at the same time um i, I do you know when people are so kind to write in and say how what a difference it's making to their lives then i i truly joe do feel very honored and very blessed that you know that 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 uh that i i get to do this you know type of thing and sometimes i do wonder <laughs> i do wonder why me truly i do but then uh, a lot of people say with respect it's because i i am so normal <laughs> that um that you know it's it's more sort of believable in a way really because sometimes they'll say words that come through and i sort of know the word and i sort of vaguely know what it means but i think is that appropriate in this sentence and i'll either put a question mark by it as we're typing along, you know, typing along so quickly and look it up afterwards. Or sometimes I get, they'll actually ask me to Google it, which I do. And I put the meaning there, or I have to Google it for myself in the middle of the channeling, just to make sure that word mm -hmm. is right, is appropriate. And of course, every time when I do do that, I get the true meaning of that word and I go, well, of course, it's perfect. It's perfect in that sentence. But for me, I d they're words I don't use. I don't speak in the, in the way that they, in the way that they do, you know, right. mm -hmm. you know, and sometimes it will make me laugh. People would just send me in a little quotation or something and I read it and I go, Oh, that's really profound. That's really good. And then at the bottom, it says Federation of Light Blossom Goodchild. And I go, Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 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 Well, anyway, to answer your question mm. about do I tune in, um, on some level, I, I imagine I do, but it's very much a matter of sitting down and focusing. So if you want to call that tuning in, mm. I just focus mm. on wanting to deliver this message. Oftentimes, it can be moving for me. So I do, yeah. uh, I do yeah. pause the audio recording. And by the yeah. way, I do them in one take on yeah. three occasions over the last six years i've done it again i've done it twice because yeah. i just wasn't you know i was doing it almost like okay let me take care of this and then i'll do my next thing mm -hmm. i don't want to be in that space yeah i want to be totally and completely committed to doing this recording when i do it yeah and yeah. maybe that's why people experience it the way they do because for me, we're listening to you. I'm, I'm the same. I do it in one take. And if I mess up, I'll just, I start doing that sentence again. And then I go back and edit, edit it out at the time. But, um, you know, for me, Joe, it's like, you are, <laughs> you are the voice of the Federation of Light, you know, which I just think is, is absolutely wonderful. And, and I truly take this opportunity to thank you for all that you have done for six, you know, six, seven years, you've done this from, from your heart. And, mm -hmm. and I think it's great. But when I listen to it, it's like you have to be tuning in. You have to be, they have to be with you because of the energy that your voice uh, gives out to, to, for others to, to listen to. You know, there's many of the comments. People love your, your voice, you know, because it's perfect for, mm. I think, for the Federation of Light because I don't have a voice for them. You are that, that I voice. I see. You know, that's uh, you did mention earlier, you didn't hear it per se. You just picked up the words. Um, it didn't occur to me that you weren't hearing an actual voice no, before. No, no, never. I mm. never, never, never do. And some people have that <laughs> gift. And I feel that must be, so, I don't know, but I feel that must be so much easier. 
yeah, hear because somebody it's like, to you. oh, sorry, what did you say? Oh, yes. Whereas when it's telepathic, <laughs> mm-hmm. it really is, uh, you know, and I know um, sometimes when I go to do a channeling, I might sort of start and I'm sort of like two, three minutes into it. And I'm just like, no, nah, it's just, no, nah, can't do it today. Right. You know, because it's just not flowing. When it, when I do it, I I go, hello, how are you today? And right till the hour is up, somehow they know the hour. Um, it just flows nonstop. I can't get it down, you know, quick enough unless there's a pause and I go, uh, why are you pausing? It literally, and, and if it doesn't flow, like I just... I just bought bought it and do it another day because I just it's too hard and there's no point in trying it's not a, you know one shouldn't have to try it's when when it's happening it happens type mm-hmm. of thing you know and also when you say when I read what you when I hear what you've read I literally do see it from a different perspective in a way because it's I'm I go oh yeah oh okay Be- because although I know it it's nice to hear it there are occasions where I need to say a sentence like oftentimes there'll be a long sentence and I'll start, start speaking it. And then by the end, I'm like, Oh, I see what they're saying. And then I'll I'll have to start all over again with the, with the inflections and the intonations to make it meaningful the way they intend. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I'm I'm the same. I think, Oh, I better go back over that one. Even Mm. though I was the one it's, it's, I found it quite hard. It's easy for me in my mind to speak with them. Mm -hmm. But then when I have to, read it and make it sound natural i find mm-hmm. even though i'm in the th- i'm an actress you know it, uh, to make it sound natural it's I, it's quite a i think we've both got better over the years as as it as it's gone on like anybody would do with practice makes perfect you know yeah yeah you know yeah. what i find myself doing now is essentially just using my own voice and talking pretty much the way i normally do yep yeah yeah, yeah. where before i wasn't i was really very careful about pronouncing um, all the syllables, and now it's kind of a little bit a part of me. But, but I was really focused on that before because I knew your messages were getting across around the world, and English wasn't always the first language for many people. Mm-hmm. So I didn't want to just roll with my normal speaking in favor of someone wanting to understand it if they might have had yes. trouble otherwise. Yes, yeah, quite, yeah, yeah. And I mean, you know, I am very blessed as well to have, you know, such a team on, on mm-hmm. board, like the translator team, you know, that, mm. you know, it's, it's just fantastic that these messages get translated by, by these people into, into different languages so that more and more people can get the message. And again, that's another thing when I go, whoa, you know, I just feel so blessed. And I think, um, you know, le- just recently I put out a thing where a gentleman ha- in America had um uh it might be canada sorry <laughs> but it's like uh you know he's he's topicked and indexed you know the whole 12 years of oh, channeling yeah, yeah. i mean it, he's done that from the love of his heart and to me i go wow you know it's and it's just sort of like i feel like well it's just part of the team um that we are down here getting this message out but for me to have that you know you and the translators and xavier all these people such a support who've who've got my back type of thing just really does um help me to carry on and uh, and when i say carry on you know there's been many times joe when i've thought i don't know if i can do this anymore for different reasons many many different reasons i don't need to go into but it it sometimes can be very difficult you know and and i've thought oh but it's because truly it's because of the support of everybody that that is just thought well i can't you know because i i can if i want to i could stop right now it's my choice right. but I, but it's like having that support and knowing what the message is mm-hmm. how they help people and i think then if it's all right now joe to go into you know exactly that in what's happening now in that you know i can like i'm sure many people <laughs> go into that thing of like war you know, where is this really going to end up? You know, there's so much information that we don't know is true or not true. And people are going down these rabbit holes and you can, you know, the energies can really in themselves can bring you down. And then you you might question and I I never, I don't really get fearful. If I find myself in that place, I pull myself. I, I always, if I get fearful or find a negative thought in my head, I throw up a tennis ball and I whack it with a tennis racket straight straight away do that and it's got it's you know that's it get out the way gone (laughs) um but i do feel that 
when I have to question myself about what are you thinking down that path for? Because this is what I have been doing for 20 odd years is yeah. now, you know, and the messages that White Cloud and the Federation bring through has been all about this time now. So we, we know exactly, we have to hold on to that excitement and that knowing, and you know, what is our job? Simple, spread the light. But in all that that's going on now, it's becoming very complex <laughs> or we're making it so. And I, I do feel we so much that we just have to remember what the Federation has said all along. Hold on to your light, shine your light, remember who you are. Because all that can go out the window when you go down too many rabbit holes. Mm -hmm. and, and, and we're counteracting this, you know, this, we have to do this. This is what we are here for, to spread this light out. Even if you're in your own house, do what brings you joy. Keep the light the home fire's burning, <laughs> as in another world war. You know, keep the home, keep your light shining, you know, fuel your light, really, because these are very amazing times in many ways. How, how are you getting on with it all? Well, for starters, I haven't watched the news in many years since I was doing that show with you. Yeah. That's one thing. So that's... Tons of fear right out the window, not part of my life. Yeah, yeah, And essentially, yeah. anything mainstream related is essentially not going to give you the kind of information that we're getting from citizen journalists, people mm. who don't have an agenda other than wanting to uncover the truth. Yeah, in many yeah. respects, by virtue of having been lied to for so many years, having found manipulation, etc., that they want to make a difference, which mm. to me speaks to something that is really very clear and important because there are people in this world who have a different role than many of the people who resonate with you. And yeah. by that, I mean, with, with the Federation of Light, they encourage people to hold their light, to shine their light. And I like to say, just don't blind anybody with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so beautiful, that in beautiful. and of itself is something that many people are having a challenging time doing. Because it has so much to do with our thoughts, how we hold ourselves, what we focus on, where we put our attention to and our energy, our energy, etc. Yeah. So yeah. it's in some respects it's really not hard. It's very simple. If you're angry, upset, judgmental, whatever, any negative vibration, you're in the wrong place. Refocus, redirect yourself, get that tennis racket out, throw that ball up and smack <laughs> it out of the way. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. All right. So that is a big job for many people. However, there are others, like I said, who have a role to wake people up. You're one of the individuals who are waking people up, but you're doing mm -hmm. so in a, such a loving way, in mm -hmm. my estimation, mm -hmm. through the, with the messages that are coming through. Mm -hmm. Others, on the other hand, are really uncovering some of the unsavory things that have gone on over millennia, for all we know. Yeah, yeah. And it, it really is challenging for them. I also see that oftentimes there's judgment toward them for why are you focused on all this all the time? Well, they're focused on it because that is where they are directing their energy. It just feels natural to them, very much like doing this kind of work feels natural to you and me. Mm, 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 mm. And that's how I kind of reconcile that. Yeah, because I love that you say don't blind people with that. That's beautiful, Joe, because, I, you know, I do have, um, I have family and friends um, on both sides, if you like, you know, this divide and conquer thing. You know, there's, <laughs> there are friends that I talk to, you know, in England and, and family sometimes, and it's like they're, they're not on the same page as me. Why should they? They don't have to be. Mm -hmm. But whereas I have family and friends over here that we can, you know, do this all the time and, and share and, and discuss and, you know, choose a cut about it. And, you know, for me as well, because of 
what I do, you know, if I was to say certain things to, to try and say, well, look, just have a look at that. Just, you know, have a look at that and see what you think. They would be like, well, what do you mean, Blossom? And it's like, oh, here, here she goes again, you know, bless her type <laughs> thing. Cuckoo, right. cuckoo, let right. her do her thing. Where, and, and I don't want that. And I feel that, yes, yes, I feel people are waking up of their own accord mm -hmm. and when they wait and when they, because they're in in their circumstances they're in whatever so i my newsletter subscription and the youtube is is going off the charts compared to normal with people subscribing and things because people are waking up as i say of their own accord and i feel it's like let them come find you you know i'd say that to to all sort of light players don't you know, it's not time to go knocking on the door and say, hey, you know, people will find the people they need mm -hmm. to get the, the the enough information that is suitable for them at the time. Because if you say to some people, watch this, just watch this YouTube and see what you think, you know, see if that will wake you up. Well, no, it won't wake you up. It might make you want to commit suicide. <laughs> you know, it's just too full on for people who are totally unaware, a, a lot that's out there now. And I think it has to be, you know, when people wake up, you just pull the curtains open little by little to see the sunlight, you know, instead of going, <laughs> <laughs> right. you know, it's, it's exactly mm -hmm. as you say. And to, to allow people to to come round when you wake up, it takes a little while to get the sleep out of your eyes and come round. And so allow people to have that grace to be able to do that without bombarding them. Because I just feel soon enough, soon enough, Joe, people will come and find ev everybody that they need to find in order to help them through this time, because this is phase one. And um, when I first started working with them, the, the, their book was called The Bridge, and this is brought up so much about that people now will, it's, it's the time when we, those that are aware and awake, um, will bring people over the bridge. You know, just take them over the bridge, come back again, bring some more, come back again, bring some more. And then to a point, it seems that after a while, you won't go back over the bridge because the vibration would be too low for you to do that. So the people that you brought over would then take over and bring more people over, etc. It's I feel this crossing of the bridge, taking people over the bridge comes up so much. And I think that is, you know, people will recognize that they're doing that when they're doing that. Oh, <laughs> beautiful. Mm. Let's talk about for a second about how so often I see in your comments where, and maybe not just yours, but in, in across a number of other people who are doing channeling or other type of related work, where so many people are looking for their purpose, their mission. And I've had this feeling for years about just being okay with being okay. And that being something that is essentially contributing to um, the, in, the upliftment of, our, of humanity in some respects. Mm. 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 And I just wondered if you had any comments related to that. Well, I totally agree with you, but <laughs> I think people are, when they are just being themselves and not actively out there, um, they're not okay with that. And that's what they need to be, okay. as you say, yes. they need to be okay with because, you know, as, as White Cloud, I knew Joe, I knew that White Cloud would come in. So if it's all right, he's, oh, by all means. he's, it's going to he's be ready. Mm. Uh, welcome to you. I am very happy to be a part of this uh, session, this setup. And uh, I was like Blossom and yourself. I was very excited. I am very excited uh, in, in any way to assist in getting the message out there. And, and this is an appropriate time to pop in, in that I say it so many times when this a subject comes up of what am I supposed to be doing? What is my purpose? And I say it is be your purpose is to smile. Your purpose is to enjoy your life because <laughs> that is 
what makes the world go round. That is what lifts a vibration. And yes, uh, for so many people, as these phases come one after the other, then uh, more souls will be uh, Feel, feeling complete within themselves because they feel they are being of use because there are more souls that they can, I would say, educate uh, in a sense. Uh, and therefore they feel that they are doing something to assist. But until that time comes, that word of patience, etc., it is uh, enjoy, enjoy this relaxing time because I say many times, you will be busy and busy and busy in the days to come because uh, so much will have changed and so many will be looking for assistance. And so therefore, uh, know that the days ahead, you, that those who feel that way will uh, definitely feel and notice that change. Uh, but for now, I would definitely enjoy a reading of the book or in your garden, etc. because times are to change. If you look at how quickly they have changed already in a few short weeks, this rapid change, this pace is, is going to continue. And therefore, there it, it is like, a, I'm showing to Blossom of like a snowball uh, going down a hill and it is getting faster and bigger and bigger and bigger. This is uh, what is, is, is taking place. And then I'm showing as, it, as if it hits a wall at the bottom and it all falls to pieces. Uh, so, so to speak. So, uh, yes, uh, that is uh, uh, that. If I have a message to give, my friend, that is is what it is to to know that this time now is what everybody has been waiting for. It is here. There is no question of that. And so, therefore, it is when one must connect with their higher self as as often as possible. This we speak of, of, I am the love, I am the light, I am the truth, I am. Make it part of your breath so that you are secure in that knowing of what is taking place now. <coughs> Excuse of blossom. And it is that uh, to know of that is what you have to do. If there was anything I would say, what if somebody said, what must I do without wishing to dictate, I would say what you must do is all the time know in you the light that you are. And what is happening now is this is why you are here being that light. That's all you need to know because the rest will come and as we said, will come and find you. And then words will flow out of your mouth from your heart. They will be downloaded to you to help others. Uh, one thing I would say, and then we will, uh, I, I will not uh, take over this process, but it is often I speak of, and I think this is important to rem recall for souls. I have spoken metaphorically about a bar of chocolate, and people take a bite and they say, oh, this is lovely, I'll have some more, and they have another square, and they go, I really like that, and they have another square until they have eaten the entire uh, bar of chocolate. And they, what do they feel like? They want to uh, vomit. They feel so lethargic. They have blown up. They feel terrible because they have overindulged. They have absorbed too much. And I would say this regarding speaking to others, and I would say this regarding going down the rabbit holes, my friend. Take a bite and think, do I need some more? Yes. So take another square and then see how you feel and assess how you feel because that may be more than enough for now. And then a while later, you may think, oh, I'm a little hungry. I fancy another little bit of chocolate and go and have some more. But if you eat that entire bar, it will blow you 
it, it will blow your senses. So, in, so do keep that in mind just a little bit at a time as you give out and as you choose to take in. That, that, that is something I feel will be helpful to, to souls. Before I go, uh, is there anything, uh, Joe, that you would like to ask of me particularly? That is a difficult word for me. First of all, thank you for coming through. I'm, I'm honored that you did and that I have the opportunity to speak to you directly. Thank you for that. Try, try keeping me away. <laughs> I, I would like to say to you that I believe it was your channelings that were the first ones that I read from Blossom. And they were very, very much heart connected and reached me in a place that really at the time, I was in the beginning stages of my own healing journey. And your messages were very therapeutic. They were like a balm to my soul. And I'm sure they are for many other people as well. So speaking for anyone who has had that kind of experience, listening to what you've had to say over the years, no matter how long, thank you. My friend, do you know, for me to be at what uh, it is beyond joy, because to be able to come through, and I do not reside on your planet full time at all, to be able to come through and to communicate, like for now, uh, many when we began 20 years ago, Blossom could not open off the eyes. And so for now, for me to actually look at you, if you like, mm -hmm. uh, is I can see you because Blossom can see you, but I can, I also am picked I see you energetically, uh, if you like, as well. S -s to have that experience, to be able to assist your planet in this transformation is uh, such an honor for me. Because please know there are many, many that would choose to do the same. And yet uh, it was in a sense of... Uh, uh, how would I say, councils uh, saying yes and no. It's not that everybody can say, I'd like to do that, let me through. And uh, <sighs> I am just questioning. Uh, that is why one must be careful sometimes in, uh, in that with the greatest of respect, not all channeled messages are coming from a higher vibration. They may pretend to do so, but as many of you know, they will cleverly intermingle the truth with the untruth so that one will feel connected to a particular message and then neatly woven in there is something that makes the heart jump because it does not feel all right but the rest of the message does so oh it must be truth then and i i just say that to souls just to feel the message not to listen, yes, to listen to it, but to feel the message. Because if that message is not of truth, you, Blossom debates this, but you can tell the difference. You, you can. Uh, so please, I just say, in these times, in all times, just do not think, oh, there's, there's another, there's another, there's another, <sighs> eat more chocolate, eat more chocolate. Because some of that chocolate may not have ingredients uh, that are pleasing to, to the self. So uh, I thank you uh, for that which you have said. And I, I uh, 
I thank Blossom for allowing me to come through. We are getting emotional. It, it is my absolute delight to be able to assist any soul, anything that is life. It is my delight to, to help them along their journey. So uh, on that note, I will hand you back to Blossom, but I, I say to you for all that you do to assist, many, many thanks, my friend, many thanks. Thank you. I knew he'd come in, Joe. I knew he'd come in. <laughs> Which that is the beautiful. delight now because it's so, it's so easy for me to do now. You know, it really, in the old days, it was, you know, I'm sure many people who follow White Cloud, I couldn't open my eyes, I couldn't move. My His voice was uh, probably an octave deeper than than now. And uh, there was so much, whereas now it's it's so different. It's, it's like we're one and the same in, I, I don't have to, struggle isn't necessarily the word. I don't have to concentrate so deeply, I suppose. It's just able to flow a lot more now. And can I just say here, I don't know if it's how important it is or isn't, Joe, but a lot of people, when they've listened to a channeling from the Federation of Light, they might write in and say, you know, oh, thank you so much to you and White Cloud for this channeling. And uh, White Cloud is not the Federation of Light. They, the Federation of Light, as far as I have been told, and that's all the information that they will give me, are a, a, a consciousness energy that um, say they are the overseers of the overseers. Now, I don't know who the overseers are that they're overseeing, <laughs> but I do. So that's what they say they are. They're the overseers of the overseers. It has been mentioned in times that white cloud can pop in to visit, to put it in those terms. And I would say, that I would like to pop in again in that it, <laughs> is, it might make it uh, more simple <laughs> to say that uh, we are, when it, it can get quite complex, but when you get to a certain level of vibration that is beyond, beyond, beyond with respect to what your planet is, is uh, uh, vibrating on now, acting on now, it is that uh, it is of a, like much of your planet is of a certain vibration, it goes up and up and up. And so I would say that... Uh, like when you speak with friends who are on the same wavelength as you, you can speak freely and you, it's speaking the same language, if you like. You, you are on the same page, on the same wavelength. It is like that in the sense that, uh, uh, would I say that uh, the Federation of Light are my great friends? Indeed, I would. And would they say the same of me? Indeed. In that, and yet, uh, so... So I'm asking, are you part of the Federation of Light? And I am saying, uh, which you will not like, I am saying yes and no. Because I am, because they are, I would say, my, my mates on my vibration and everything. But uh, Blossom is hesitating to say of this. Uh, and that is, uh, uh, but she will allow me. <sighs> that uh, in a, I am because she knows I am showing her that I am. When I, if you like, if I was to, to visit the Federation of Light, you can see that I come to visit them. So that it is more that I am. I would say of a. I reside on a a slightly higher level in in my truth self than the Federation of Light. <clears throat> and I find that really interesting, Joe, because never before, never before has he said that. And that's why I was hesitant because I thought, oh, that's a bit full on. But, uh, you know, I, I, that's, he, White Cloud has said in time he will reveal who he truly is. And uh, I guess he's just done a bit more of that 
now and and so i have to i have to trust i have to to trust that yeah yeah you know in some respects it's easy to understand that he may be even on a higher level with the further understanding that it really is a never ending journey isn't it yeah yeah infinite infinite oh god <laughs> 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 but you know it's it's sort of like that isn't it sometimes because there is that so many times i think oh beam me up scotty you know <laughs> beam me up yep. and and yet then you have to remember that we were ch we volunteered and we were chosen to be here we have that honor yeah. to be here and That's so right. many didn't get to this place and so because we've got that honor to be here and we're the strongest of the strong that's why we have to remember to trust our inner knowing that's why we have to really pull ourselves together at this time and really really go it's now it's happening don't sort of think oh i can't do with this this is terrible don't do that because this is the time we've been waiting for and this is when we truly have to trust and remember why we're here and who we are and who we are as i've said is light love you know so as the energies that are coming in are of a higher vibration and we're coming up to, to, to meet that, that there is, you know, I was brought up of, of never praise yourself, never say, oh, look what I did, isn't that good? Never do that type of thing. So that's been squashed within us all to, to, to be ourselves. Whereas this thing now to be able to un begin to understand of, you know, the power that you are with these energies coming coming in it, it definitely for me it's not like I can go oh I think I'll just transport myself to you know <laughs> to wherever can't do all that yet yet inside of me there is a power as if uh that is it's as if the dial has been turned up within my being of knowing that of of of, of just allowing myself to accept not that this is a possibility, but accept that this power that we are is real. And the only way we can make it real <laughs> is by accepting it, <laughs> sight thing, and knowing it. But it's certainly amped up in me a realization of I can feel that power growing and getting stronger within me as is required. And I think that's what, uh, uh, you know, might be useful to say for many people that feel like you said, that feel so inadequate, feel that they, what have they got to offer? As this movement carries on, you, I feel everybody will be downloaded with what is required, what they need at the time to do what it is they have to do so not to worry like but i can't do that because it will all come it will get downloaded to you mm -hmm. because that's why we're here so i just want to underscore that there you are walking along going around your daily routine and then all of a sudden a knowing will come into and through you having this unmistakable certainty of what you're here to do yeah 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 do you get that joe do you have that feeling i haven't had that feeling yet i have the expectation that that's what's going to happen but when you're say recording the channelings mm -hmm. is that not for you and knowing that, that this is part of what you're here to do oh that's a good question because i just asked myself that the other day because like, look, like anybody else, I wonder, you know, what, what's my role in this? All I'm doing really is narrating these messages. They're not even coming through me. I'm giving it to people secondhand. Yeah. So that was kind of like what. Yeah. And, and then I thought, am I doing part of what I'm supposed to, or what I'm supposed to be, you know, came here to do? Of course you are. For me, for me, it's like, um, you know, you didn't just come along by chance. 
for me it's like yes you did in you know in how we see things happening in 3d reality type of thing but mm -hmm. there's no way that i think oh uh you know oh this chap came along and blah 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 blah, blah. for me without question you agreed to do this <laughs> before you, you came okay you, you did because that voice of the federation had to be the perfect voice for the mission because it's coming from your heart and mm. now thankfully you know how blessed we are that thousands of people listen to that so of course that is part of your mission you know and i and i uh, you know i would go as far as to say for you to honor yourself in that you know we, we're so like oh you know let's oh no 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 it's nothing it's nothing well it is it's huge what you do do you see what i mean and it's like by honoring that knowing within yourself as for everybody and whatever they do it's like yeah i'm doing i'm doing it i'm part of it you know this is my little bit and good on me mm. you know i feel like i'm gonna print up flyers and start handing them out to people i married for the federation of light <laughs> <laughs> I am the spokesman. I am the voice of, you know. <laughs> but you are, Joe. You are, you know. And and it's just it's just a fact. <clears throat> it is. And it, and it's you know. I I am so grateful to you because, Thanks. as I say, so many people love to listen as opposed to read. They get more from it by being able to, you know, to hear. People probably got the idea by now. You're in Australia. I'm in Chicago, and. Um, you send out a channeling, you know, you, you publish the email, and then you take it from there. What happens next? So I publish the email, and when I remember, <laughs> sometimes I forget in the weeks gone by, and I go, oh, I haven't done the audio. So mm -hmm. once I've done that, I go into my little room, and I put this set on, and I read my part of the channeling. And uh, for people that are, are listening to this, and then I send it to you, and you have recorded your part of the channeling your you know the federation's voice mm -hmm. and then you so cleverly put it together to sound as one so you know people uh, might or might not find it interesting the fact that this is the first time really apart from having that interview all that time ago and we weren't seeing each other face to face then mm -hmm. you know we've been doing this for all these years joe and we've never yep. really had a conversation this in that sense face to face you know and it yeah. and it, it you know i just think that is that's a miracle in itself <laughs> it is that, yeah. that that happens and people listen to it and they have you know for many people they probably think that we're you know we're in the same room well no we're on opposite sides of the world almost yeah for sure. <laughs> you know, so, so that is amazing in itself how that that works you know yeah yeah because I want to honor these people who have done some work uh, for you in the translations first of all how long has that been going on and then today, how many different languages are being translated? Oh, it's I tr truly, Joe. I couldn't tell you because it's changed so much, and I, 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 I mm, that's terrible that I don't know how long, but many, many years. You know, I'd say at least ten years. Okay. I, I nice. would say, and I do with all respect. If that's wrong, I am so sorry to all those people. But mm -hmm. at, at the time, you know, um, uh, in earlier days, uh, there was definitely far more people. Uh, mm -hmm. And, 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 you know, there was Russian and it, it got translated in about, I think, I think at one point there's about 13 different languages, 15, whereas now, and people, fair enough, they either lose interest or they lose faith <laughs> or they're like, I just haven't got time to do this anymore or right. they go down a different path. So now I truly think there's only about um, four or five uh, different languages, you know, um, there's Japanese and uh, uh, Dutch and Spanish and you know, it's just German. It, it's fantastic that these people, you know, just do this from the love, love of their heart. And I know, you know, the lovely thing is like I, when I did Bali, uh, the retreat in Bali, the girl that translates into Japanese, she lives in Bali. So she came on the, the retreat. So it was just lovely to, to meet her. And, you know, she said that, you know, that she has, you know, I don't know how many thousand pe Japanese that follow the work. And so, it, you know, it's so lovely to know that, um, you know, that people are able to, to receive the message, even as you say, when they don't speak, in, you know, my native tongue. So my add on to that blossom is that you spoke to me about how my narrating for the FOL was something that was, you know, part of my plan, if you will. 
these individuals who are finding it within their heart, like me, who is motivated by something that moved me, are doing this and committing themselves to it. Again, for no compensation. No. But strictly no. because this is something that they feel called to do. Absolutely. Absolutely, Joe. And, and, you know, they say, often they say when they are translating, many of them have said they feel as if they're getting helped with it because the way the Federation speak isn't always the easiest way to, to and the way I might come up with some random, um, you know, far out Brussels sprout type of thing. They're like, what, what, how do you translate that? What does, it, what does she mean? So, you know, they, they feel like the, they, um, you know, they feel the energy of um, the, the Federation with them. And, and to me, I just say, it's just, I just, I, I literally am blown away by that, by all these people um, helping get the, get the message out. Because you know why? Because not only it, is it fantastic that they do so but because joe it helps me to know that i am on the right path because if this was a if i was like you know just making all this up type of thing i do not feel i would have all this help around to get the messages out um, because i don't feel the universe or whatever would, would allow that to be. I am so looked after, so looked after by people that it, it, that, that is make me think, well, you know, you know, you know, you're on the right path, Blossom, because, because of that love that everybody <laughs> offers to me in support, you know, for years and years and years and years and years. And, and people from, you know, 15 years old to people of 93 years old, you know, it's, it's a um, amazing that you know the, the scope and yeah i just feel really really yeah really blessed to to find myself in this position you know i, I truly truly do yeah beautiful well we all know that you've had your ups and downs over the years this is one of the things that really i really appreciate about your messages in your emails as well as how you communicate when you're either in a workshop that you've posted on YouTube or for that matter, even how you weave it into your conversations with the Federation of Light is how you speak about the challenges that you've experienced. And with the typical expectation that a normal person might have that, oh, she's channeling these higher beings, her life must be uh, beautiful and glorious, etc. But you share with people the reality of it and the ups and downs that you experience. Because like anybody else, you're having a human experience. And this just happens to be your job that you picked up on. And you're following through, kicking and screaming on occasion. Yeah, yeah, because, <laughs> you know, because I am human. And, you know, I do like, you know, like, plenty of people write in saying the same things like come on come on or you know what whatever it is or they might say you know that this is going to happen soon and right. you know te six years later soon hasn't happened etc mm -hmm. etc et there's so many things joe which is sort of uh, if i was to say about it uh, that i find that i find difficult it, it would be classed as whinging and i don't want to whinge You know, there's just challenges sometimes because there's a big, big world out there and I put myself out there. I understand that. So I have to cope with what comes back to me in over the, you know, it took me a long, long time, especially after 2008 and all that took place then. That's all on my website if people want to, to look up what went on then. But, uh, you know, I had to, uh, I had to, I've really learned how to deal with nastiness <laughs> and there's plenty of it about but over the years that's dissipated so much you know so much that I, uh, that I receive with emails are quest asking questions or just very supportive and then that when I do get a, a really nasty email now it's like water off a duck's back water off a duck's back doesn't mm -hmm. affect me in any way i just know to write back and say thanks so much for sharing mm -hmm. uh you know luckily we're all different da, 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 da. and and it doesn't bother me whereas you know there's been times when uh, you know it, 
people have been so so nasty but but now it's like I've, I have it grown in myself and it's like oh well that's where they're at on their journey I, I can't expect the whole world to love what I do type of thing you know so it, it's it's I've, I've come I've come a long way on my journey um, through the teachings of White Cloud and the Federation and that forgive well it's funny this thing of forgiveness isn't it because I think well why do I need to forgive them because they haven't done anything wrong in their eyes, if you see what I mean. So it's just that that's where, where they're at. So, um, yeah, I've, it's, it's just an interesting journey, really. A very in, and I never, ever, ever, I always make that joke of, you know, I'm psychic, perhaps I should have seen this coming. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't, because I, I never, I just never had any inkling that I would be doing this. So when somebody says, oh, you know, or something comes about that they said, oh, I, I heard of you through so-and-so. And I go, oh, good Lord, people know about me. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like oh, okay. You know, I, I just, I find it strange because, mm. you know, like you, I'm just you, you know, you're the voice of the Federation of Light, but you're just you. And, and I bring Same. these messages through, but I'm just me living my normal, very normal, lovely, lovely, blessed life. But we all have our ups and downs, and especially with all that's going on. I think in these times as well, there are days when I wake up and I just want to throw the covers back over my head. I just wake up feeling, Bleh. and mm. I, I think we all, I think, then I might speak to somebody and somebody else and they'll say, oh, I'm feeling the same today. That the energies that are being lifted out, lifted up, and some of them I, I believe that are going on, you know, there's a lot of nasty, nasty stuff coming out into the light. So we are, that, that stuff has to affect us in some way. Mm -hmm. And so when we're having those yuck days, it's like, don't beat yourself up about it because I'm just feeling that because that is what is in the air today, you know? And so it's like, okay, well, I'll just have a quiet day and I'll just have a meditation or, you know, again, put myself in a nice space, but you don't have to be jumping around skipping because you know that the next day when you wake up and it's like, oh, I feel great today. I feel great because that has dissipated. We've got rid of that. And it, it cannot not affect the planetary vibration, you know, and I don't know much about, I'm not a scientist and quite a few scientists are in contact with me. We do have a laugh, but it's like, you know, I just, I, I panic and all that kind of stuff, but it's like, you know, the Schumann resonance, uh, you know, uh, the Schumann resonance, a lot of people are very into that and I, I'm cool with it, but I don't, there's no way I'd ever go and think, oh, what's it doing today? Because I wouldn't be able to understand it. But I am, I've been made aware that right now it's off the charts on a higher vibration, you know, it's, mm -hmm. which means, and apparently therefore it's, that is to do with our individual vibration as one. So we're doing really, 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 really well. But then again, it might drop because of what is going on vibrationally on the planet. And so we'll drop with it, if you see what I mean. But then we come back up. You know, I, I think it's fascinating, although I don't understand it. Okay. Well, I mean, that just brought up the idea for me that we're also being worked on energetically to increase the vibrational frequency of our physical beings so yeah. that we can sustain this, the changes that are going on yeah. energetically, right? Okay. I'm just kind of rolling with it yeah. because I feel like what I'm doing is riding this wave and I need to be able to maintain a balance in order to be able to make it until this wave crests. Yeah, yeah, so. definitely. So, Joe, so right, Joe. I just think we shouldn't beat ourselves up about how we're feeling if we're not on top of the world one day or if we need to spend the afternoon if we have that, you know, that privilege to just lie down or, you know, whatever it might be be because we have to treat ourselves with respect in in the knowing that this transformation as you say is physical as well you know it's 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 huge 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 what is happening now that they say it's never happened before this change and we're here in the middle of it smack bang in the middle of it you know swords of light up to the skies you know and each one of us is just as important as the other i i when you know there's a, a sort of global meditation thing going on um you know that people meditate every day and and some 11 o'clock well i try to 
do I miss that today because of this but at 11 o'clock I try to do and when I I've got a little singing bowl and a little area and I just sit down with my little singing bowl and it's like in my mind I see myself going as if I shoot up above the planet and it's like as if I watch the planet everybody's like oh it's 11 o'clock up they go and we we hold hands around the planet and send rainbow light down and it's like it's knowing that we are not alone that we are in this together you know i think it's is that's what we have to remember that we are in this together nobody is uh, you know going through this on their own which many feel that they are joe many feel they are it's lovely that um that we've we've managed to do this and get it together and and, and thank you so much thanks so much joe for all that you do, for all that you do. And we shall continue to do, shall we not? We shall. Yeah. <laughs> We're That's done. Right. Thank you. Thank you Thank so you very much, much. Blossom. Okay, okay.